Hi there. My name is Joshua Mike Bamiloye, aka J Mikey, and I'm a music producer and a content creator at the Malzahn Films Productions, Nigeria. The verse of the day is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 14, which says, The Lord Himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. This passage was written when the people of Israel were living in a high state of idolatry. It seemed like they had turned their backs on God. Because of this, the prophets issued constant warnings and predictions of their impending judgment, along with calls for national repentance. Despite all of these issues, God gave Israel a word of encouragement through prophet Isaiah. The Lord himself will give them a sign which would certify the arrival of his anointed Savior, the seed of the woman, the Messiah of Israel, and royal descendant of the great King David. He also promised to cleanse his people of their sins. That was a magnificent proclamation. The passage also said that the Savior will be called Emmanuel, God with us, and will be conceived and born of a virgin. In order to atone for the sins of his people, Israel, the immortal, invisible, and everlasting God, was to enter into the world as a baby, and all families on earth would be blessed through him. That prophecy came to pass many years later, and its effect is still felt today, and even forever. This just shows how much God loves us. In the very moment where the world was almost completely ravaged by sin and immorality, the moment where mankind was headed for destruction and doom, Jesus stepped up and stood in between. He became a man and took upon himself all our sins so that we can be free. That's the God we serve today. Whenever you find yourself in situations where you feel alone or lost, or the devil tries to bring negative thoughts about your life and your past, remember that Emmanuel is a name that transcends time and it has a promise embedded in it. And it states that God will never leave us nor forsake us. God with us.